Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Just setting everything up for us. There we are. Let's give it a few more seconds for people to join. And what we'll do, we'll just crack on with the video. Hey guys, welcome, Good to thanks for joining, just setting everything up, we are almost ready to go live. Hey guys, this is our first live show, so I'm um, really new to this, so I'm getting used to the technology, so I've got the camera on. And I've also got the laptop on there as well, and I've borrowed a Noah's high chair, just so I can keep an eye out. If I can't get through to any, answering any of the questions, guys, I will answer in the comments afterwards if I don't get ranked to seeing it now. Just going to see if I can see who's online. If you're online, you can hear us. Give us a, um, say hello, give us a thumbs up. Let us know where you are watching us from. Uh, hey Gemma. So I'm just going to sign in. Yeah. I'll give it a couple of more minutes, guys, before we start cooking. Um, how has your Easter weekend been? Been a bit of. So I am almost ready, and I think what we'll do, guys, we will crack on. Got my coffee here. So what we'll do, we'll go through what we've got. So this is going to be a live cooking show, um, showing exactly how to cook a few curries. Probably about, probably do about two or three curries. So I have got my base gravy all pre-cooked already here. Let's put this light on. And down here, I have got my service onion, just like the Indian restaurants. Got my ginger and garlic paste, got my DRI style mixed curry powder right here, just like the one I've showed you how to make. We've got some chili powder, pre-cooked chicken, some tomatoes, coriander, chili, some green peppers and some onion for our, our, one of our curries, which I'll reveal later. You probably guessed it by now in all fairness. We've got some tomato puree, oil and some lemon juice. So here we go. So I think what we'll do guys, I can see the new people. Hey, Russell. There. All right, let's get off. There we go, it's on. So, as usual, we've got a pan. We've got this. As I'm cooking, I will try and interact as much as I can. I might not be able to hear you because I've listening to a lot of noise. But let's go. So our first curry, what we'll do, we will make chicken buna. So medium spiced, medium sauce, and I've got some containers here. What I'll do, I'll whack it in there for later. So let's start pan on heat. If you haven't said hello guys, give us a thumbs up, give us a hello. Hey Russell, of course, that's, our, that's the motto you've given to our channel because we don't mess around. We go straight into cooking without going through roundabouts and hoops before we get to it because I really appreciate your time you've given us to watch our videos and learn from our videos. So what we've got here, our ginger and garlic paste. Let's get that on there. One of the things to remember, don't forget our base gravy, our chicken, everything is already spiced 
Um, so therefore, we don't need to overdo anything else. So, chicken bruna coming our way. So, one tablespoon of soy sauce. You want to put the heat on high. What medium? Let's get a pinch of methi going in. If you are cooking along with us, guys, let us know you are cooking along. Stephen, hi Stephen, welcome from Wales. Nice to have you. Got service early and it's already done. So you won't be too long now. Someone asked the other day how long does it take? Probably about 10 minutes once you've got all the prep. So I've got my tomato puree. Just in one. You can't keep the chicken clean as well. So, chicken buna, one heap spoon of mixed curry powder. And what we're going to do now is give this a quick now let's get our pre-cooked chicken in here. How many pieces shall we do? Two, four. Six, seven, seven's good. Let's make it eight. Let's keep it even. Even Stevens. Let's see that. Ariane, hello. Happy hello. So this is our chicken buna dish, just like the Indian restaurants. Our first, this is our first dish we're cooking. So what we're doing here, we are caramelizing the spices that we're putting, so it's going to catch onto the pan, which is good. Don't be afraid, as long as it doesn't burn, you're good. Stay craving. This is our chicken buna coming a long time. So I'm going to use this and then I'm going to put a couple of more scoops of base gravy, let it heat up, add some tomatoes and so forth and then then be good guys. Now I did forget to add some salt, so let's do a pinch of salt. As we sort of said, all of our ingredients have already got spices, the have got a masala, all of that sort of in there. The, Salt and everything, so you can easily mix a bit of salt. As long as you don't like, you love salt too much, then you should be fine. Look at that, that looks amazing. Right, so let's get our final coat of base gravy on there. Let that come to come to cook, and I'll go back on the laptop to see if I can see what's going on here. Hey Russell, we're still, we're still working on the book, book mate. Uh, hopefully, it won't won't be too long. As a full time job and that sort of stuff, I'm just trying to balance everything. I don't want to rush it too much because I do want to make it a good one. Uh, but if there is any recipe you want in the meantime, give us a shout and I'll do my best to reply to you. Hey guys, give us a like on our channel, subscribe if you haven't, uh, as well as um, we've got a Facebook fan page called The Bengali Cook, as well as Instagram, to give, us a, to give us a follow on our Instagram channel and so forth to stay updated. Also on our 
Facebook or Instagram, whichever way you prefer, you can always obviously message us and we will do our best to help you as much as we can. Right, there we go guys, our first curry is almost ready. A couple more minutes and we're good. So let's give it a blast. How does this chicken boona dish look so far? Let's try and see if I can zoom in. It does let me zoom in, so that's great. I might keep the camera like this, because I think you get a better, better view. Chicken Bruna is ready. How long has it been? Not too long. So here we go. So let's get it. Let's get that in there. And there we go. In a restaurant, you probably how much would you pay for this? At the Indian restaurants, what they're seven, eight pounds a portion? but I've just possibly showed you how to make this for a fraction of the price. That's exactly what it is guys, so you don't have to spend too much. As long as you've got the ingredients at home, it really doesn't take that long to cook. So let's put that, let's put that there for the time being. And let's crack on with our second dish. I'm just gonna quickly wash the pan out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this back in there. If you guys like our live cooking shows, I'll do more of them. And what we'll do, we'll take, I'll take some requests as well, and I might put a little menu up actually, and then you can tell us from the menu choices what you would like us to cook on our live video shows. Mm. Cheers. Some coffee. So if you have just joined us, guys, welcome to our cooking show. This is the first cooking, live um, video cooking show that I'm doing. And yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to learn a lot about the, the live, how it all works and so forth. But what we know what we know what to do is how to cook these BRI Indian restaurant style curries at home. Um, if you haven't guys, give us a subscribe to our channel, follow us on Insta and all that sort of stuff. And Facebook, we're on there as well. So, pounds on, pounds, on hot again, so that's a bit cool. So we will crack on with our second dish. Right. Keep my non recipe, please. Absolutely. Okay, great. Hey, Kev, thanks for joining. Right, let's, let's get our second one going. So this is one of you, one of the favourites one that everyone likes. It's going to be chicken and macbrats. So what we've got, a chef's food of oil. So let's get our ginger and garlic paste in there. If you do overheat the pan, it's just going to splatter everywhere, so it's possibly you can just to have it like the medium heat. You know what, Kev, for the, for the Kima Naan bread, I've actually got all the ingredients at home, just need to get around to making it, so that's pretty cool. Right, chicken magrat coming our way, so let's crack on. So let's show you. Two, one, 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 Now the reason I've done that is just to cool it down because I don't want the spices burning. Right, so. Have a beer white salt mixed curry powder. For chicken macarons. Our chili powder goes in. Methy leaves goes in. So I put half a spoon of Chili powder, if you want more, you can obviously add more, but generally it's chicken madras, it's about half, just over half of everything comes in. And 
That's all come on to pure we just gone in. If you've got fresh lemon juice, you can use fresh lemon juice. If not, these will go away. I can have them said, I'll have my fresh lemon juice. Well lemon oh, no. Here they are. But you forgot to cut it. So it's back on with it. So this is our Madras chicken Madras base. We make it. We're just cooking the spice really well. What we can do is get our chicken in there. So the chicken will heat up as well. So what we've got for it. So again, this is my pre-cooked chicken. If you haven't seen the video, guys, um, I'll put a link after, once I figured out how to put a link afterwards in the description somewhere. If not, it is on my channel. You can have a look, look through those. And you are ready? Come on, let's put some coriander in there, why not? So if you have just joined us guys, welcome to the live cooking show. Um, we've got pretty basic stuff here. We've got a mixed curry powder, chili, our service onion, pickled of chicken, coriander and so forth on there. And this is, we're making a chicken madras on here guys. coming along. So one more, there we go. Chicken madras is a bit saucy, so let's add a bit more. And let's get that one going. While this heats up, I'll go and check on the comments to see if we've got any comments or anything. Yeah, well, that's absolutely fine, but if you want to add spinach, you crack on, but this is the best thing about cooking BRI curries at home, purely because you get to make it according to your own taste. If you want to add spinach, you, can, you carry on. So as I was saying, this is our first live cooking show. Uh, if you guys like it and the demand's high, happy to arrange more of these and as well as um, take requests to cook uh, what you want to see really guys um, so i might put a menu up to saying like, these are the options and and just pack on and cook those really. chicken madras if you want to add some green chili in there i have put quite a few so why not put a couple in there right let's zoom in so you can see what's going on Hey Pete, there we go, look at that, that's our chicken madras, thanks Maz, let's get that going, now you've seen our, the oil has risen to the top, our chicken madras is ready, so let's get that in our container. And our chicken madras is ready. There you go, guys. Another portion done. What's that? Another 10 minutes or so. So we've got a chicken boona as well as our chicken madras. So we're quickly going to wash out the pan and we'll do our final curry.
Don't forget, guys, if you are new to our channel, thank you for watching us. Um, please do like and subscribe. And do follow us on our Instagram and all that sort of stuff, Facebook, uh, where you can obviously contact us as well. Much easier. But YouTube's good. You can contact us through YouTube as well. So this is the final dish. I'm going to cook. This is one of my favorites, actually. It's chicken jalfrezi. It's slightly, it's hotter than a uh, chicken madras, and it's got some other bits and pieces in there as well, which is pretty cool. Well, the laptop's gone off, I'm just going to turn it back on. Our potato head, yeah, that's good, mate, that's a good one. Madras, right, we've just done a madras. Hopefully this will be, um, you can watch the replay as well, so that's pretty cool. Looking for the pan to heat up. Just checking the comments out, guys. Yes, you're a nice one, mate. Yeah, Jalfrey, you're a nice. Yes, Kev. Look, guys, I've kept you guys waiting for the for the, for the main main dish, Jalfrey. Lovely. Right, let's let's crack on. So let's start boiling in there. One. Got a piece of metal in there. So again, the alfredo is more of a medium sauce, so we're going to go again, one. And the alfredo is, is more of a double heat than a madras, so I'm going to put one in there. Bit of that. Just going to add a tiny bit of lemon juice. So most of that should be went out. Let it go. As with all my video guys, make sure that you cook the spice out really well. Because that's where the flavour is. So again, one teaspoon of the green chili in there. Because most of the time they do have a lot of um, deals going on, and, and they they work and they work well actually. Tilde Til is obviously good, but that's more pricey. So again, depends on your budget, I guess. So again, guys, just putting the spices down. So these are already pre-cooked onions. So these are the onions and peppers. And that's why they're going at the end because they're already cooked. And I cook the peppers and so forth literally by putting in a pot with some oil, a little bit of holy powder, a little bit of methi, and just wait it for and just then just let that cook on low heat once it's gone nice and soft. I 
Ah, na po. Red, red ano yun. Red, red. Well, so I use Salam, right? I'll put a link, to, well, I'll, put, I'll put the name on there after. Hey, guys, good morning. I guess you're over the phone. So the more the spice gets cooked, guys, the more better it is. Let's get some dates on there. Right, so this is going to be the first layer of dates, and after this is reduced, I'm going to the final layer, and then I'll start basically it is good. There we go, Russ. Right, let's go back to this. It's not burned or anything, it's just pan light, so it's great. The final base for our wedge now fry. And again, if you want more sauce, obviously you can add more sauce, if you want less sauce. No worries, Russ. Cheers, buddy. Right, let's try and zoom that in so you can see. Yeah, Layla's good, guys. I've used that. I generally flicker between the both as well as Tilda. Tilda is really expensive, so I don't do that one as much at home. And Salam and Layla, they, they do have a lot of, um, well, sometimes, most of the time they do have deals on. Especially at the moment, guys, it is Ramadan at the moment, so a lot of the supermarkets will have a lot of um, deals going on, so check those out. Right, an hour, let's turn it up. Add a couple of tomatoes. And our gel fry is ready. Just that here. I'm just going to try and put this here so you guys could see the colors. Right, so we've got our first one was chicken buna. Where is it gone? There it is. Chicken buna. Let's zoom out a bit maybe. There, chicken buna is the first one. Chicken madras. And the final one we've done is chicken gel phrasing so let's run zoom in there well, here we go so what are your thoughts guys what do you think of the show should we continue 
Cheers, Peter. You really you enjoyed that, mate. Uh, well, someone can't find some, but I'm from based in Bristol, so if you've got any fun, haven't told you guys. Nice. Right, nice, lovely, thank you. Right, guys, do you, uh, let us know if you liked it, we will continue with these going forward. Oh, gosh, you've got no waste bag, you may come on. It's always good to have one, have one in, in the fridge stored, uh, but not to worry. I will. You've also seen my other videos where I do. I cut the curries from scratch. What I'm going to do, uh, I have a few requests, is make the BRI curries in the bigger batches um, from scratch. So you're going to need base. So we'll create the base as we cook, and then we're just going to uh, put more, add more portions onto it. Um, stunning. Right. Cheers, Stephen. Right, guys. Um, as this is the first one, please let us know if you have enjoyed the show and if we got the demand, like I sort of said, we will continue with these. Um, as well as what I'm going to do, thinking of doing, is putting a, like a little menu of choices of different curries maybe. And then obviously you get to choose what curries we cook out of that menu. Um, doing So if there's something that you want to cook along as well. Um, we can obviously cook it together and then obviously after the show we just go and enjoy it ourselves and maybe get on our Instagram or Facebook or even actually YouTube and just um, post your pictures on, on the curries that you've cooked. Having said that guys, let's wrap it up. Have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of the bank holiday weekend. And what I'll do, I've got a, my staff, I've, I've done another video actually guys. Um, the mutton staff curry recipe that I did the last week that went down really well with you guys so thank you ever so much for showing lots of love on that video so following on from that I've done a chicken staff curry video that I will be uh, releasing on Wednesday just need to do the editing on that one so that's a really good one again it's from scratch it's a curry we you know, cook for the staff members at the Indian restaurants and basically it's just like a home cooking curry basically guys Right, lots of love, enjoy the weekend, and I will see you on our next video, and as we sort of said as well, on the next live show, if the demand is there, guys, so let us know. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Just got to figure out how to um, turn it off now. Yes. See you, guys.